yeah, y'all thought the night stop? Nah. Y'all see what's up over there, right? I'm about to go hang out at right now. Go watch this warrior game and stuff. So I'ma just bring y'all along for it. You know what I'm saying? Good night out, you know. So I hope this be a good game. You know, let's go Warriors. You know. So you already know. Let's get it. What's going on, y'all? Let's go on and get straight to it, man. Last night, it got real hectic, man. That's why I don't really take this car out at night, man. But, uh, yeah, man, last night it got hectic, man. For some reason, Sheriff tried to jump on me, like four of them. Dogged off four of them. Bad. Uh, but even me, by even me doing that, you know, it, uh, it cost me a little bit. But talking to all my car brothers and stuff, you know, they were just telling me because my axles is nothing that's been, you know, ain't nothing wrong with the car. The car is straight, right? Um, but we did, I did do this right here, man. So in the process of driving and, and, and doing what I had to do, you know what I'm saying? And make sure they don't take this car or whatever. Yes, I did start the process of putting this car in my name. I was putting this car in my name. But, hold on. There we go. But, uh, I was still waiting on the paperwork and stuff. They did say it was going to take about a couple of months. Because it's been over three years that the car been in the system. You know. But, uh, I got some local control arms and stuff that I'm about to go pick up right now. So we about to head back over to 650. I was gonna take the car, but uh, there's no point in having this car on the street today right now. After this shit just happened last night. So, let me just tie it back down, leave it here for, you know, and uh, we'll go pick up these control arms and stuff. Holler at my boy, and then uh, when it's time to take it to go get it more expected, you know, I'm gonna make sure I got y'all with me, but let's get it. So now she all tucked away for a little bit and stuff, but uh, let's get ready to head over to 650. I'm gonna call my boy in a minute, let him know I'm on my way, and uh, yeah, let's go from there, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all, we making our way right now, man. You know, I had to go get right, get right, smoke some, man. Y'all already know me. Keep my head straight, you know, get past this little, what I done, you know. Hey, that's the part of the game, you know. When you play like this, sometimes you fuck shit up when you taking the risk, you know. So, I've been talking to all my boys, they thinking it's this, so I'm about to go pick up these control arms with 650 and stuff. And we're gonna get, we're gonna slap them, them jammies on and uh, go from there. So, Let's get it. All right, sir. Six seconds. So I'm still running the upper stocks. You know what I'm saying? I grabbed this just in case to see if one of my Maxim Motorsports are bent. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's just the top upper control arms. But uh, yeah, we'll see once I get the car up in there, man. Even 650 working on the Buick Skylarks up in this joint. Come on, man. Andy Lopin. <laughs> Carburetor. That mug clean. Alright, so we're about to get ready to install these joints, man. Eddie on his way. He just texted me, said he's on the bridge. Y'all really know me. I like to do things early, man. But shit, I ain't really ain't doing nothing today. So I'm about to, once he get here, we're going to pull this car out. And we about to install these jammies, you know, because they say when you met a lot of times, it just be the bush. <gasps> oh, excuse me. It just be the bushes, you know what I'm saying? And that's what probably happened under there after uh, the, uh, the little incident that happened, man. But yeah, this was this little setback. That, this was another setback that happened for the night, man. But as y'all see, I dropped the clip where I was taking it out, but. I wish I would have had the camera at a high speed, but it is what it is, man. I did my thing, got away, and now I gotta pay for what I damaged. So, hey. Well, here come Ed now. Setting off alarms.
So my man Eddie got the jack. Oh, my battery low. But uh, I'm gonna make it work with this battery because it shouldn't take that long. You know what I'm saying? But we about to get ready to jack this up and see what's the damage. Hopefully it is just the control arm. The slide it back flush, man. Stupid ass police. So we about to go ahead and change the shot, man. This one is messed up. So move this one out and then move the other one. But it looked like the bottom shifted, but we'll see. Well, yeah. so my shock was bad. So we changed that out from the replacement that I had. I got another, it was one of these that we replaced it with. But we're gonna see right now if that helped. If not, something shifted and it gotta get shifted back two inches. <laughs> That's all I can say or inches, some I don't know. But we about to see once we tighten everything up. <laughs> well, bro, I just been felt like swinging it lately, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and after good. we see that bullshit. So, hey, man, I figure it out, man. My torque box was sitting like that the first time when I first messed it up. So, I did see that it was broken on the side where it was we watered at. So, I believe it's that, you know. So, I, it's going to probably, I don't know how long it's going to take me, man. I got to find the correct shop, you know what I'm saying. And they about to try to charge me an arm and a leg. But at the same time, I'm going to still replace, I'm going to get the, uh, the uh, torque box replacement bar anyway so I might as well order that and have all that there so if ain't nothing really bent and it was just a torque box that's really ripped up again we'll just put that bar up in there and everything can be straight but you know as I showed y'all the body straight everything straight man so we good yeah so hold on let me wipe the camera off Oop, that don't look right a little bit more fun, man, until I figure out which way I want to go. Yeah, I messed up, y'all. So, it was on me. I ain't sitting here feeling like, damn. But I am like, damn, you know. It's the feeling of all the hard work you put in and you, you, you go out. Knowing that you don't really drive a car at night. You know, knowing I really don't drive it at night. And... This happened, so now I gotta figure out which way I wanna go with it. Yeah, I can just take it and uh, go get it pulled and stuff, but you know, I fixed it already. I don't know why I feel like, it's like how I fixed a friend and the hood popped up and everything. It's like I'm starting to go back with that after we went, after I went forward so far, you know? And uh, shit, it's like, fix this frame or buy another body I don't know you know and I know a lot gonna be like oh just fix it bro you you know it, it, it's your car you know you love that car yeah I do you know but it's costing so much too so I need to figure out which way I want to go I found another frame in uh in, in the city and this one is a uh, coupe you know so and it's a cool price on it too. So like even if I do get that one, all that I gotta do is just take everything from this car and put it on there. You know, it's straight everything and the torque boxes and everything is probably way better than this car. It have a cage in it, but you know, I can get that out of there, so. I don't know. And then too, like the inside look like we'll be putting some money into the interior, really, you know, but I don't know. So, let me see if I can adjust to it a little bit. Uh, come on now, your stupid phone. There we go. But that's what I'm going to be ordering, y'all. That's what I'm going to be ordering. That should make it way stronger and stuff, man. So, I'm going to be getting ready to order that because this car, <laughs> like, I just got to go through the process, get it done, find the right people to do it. 
that's it that's all you know so for everybody that's watching this man go for go you gotta go for your always go off your first mind man when your first mind telling you like ah, i should really put a car up don't do it man because i'm taking all these steps forward and i gotta take 10 backwards you know what i'm saying fix the tour box already you already know that y'all seen that <laughs> So since that broke, that what happened, that's why I shifted over. So, yep, let's get it. <laughs>